The reason why I have applied for the checking agent job role is because I have a great deal of enthusiasm for all things travel and airplane related. I also want to be part of an industry that helps people make their dream vacation come true. For example, when millions of passengers come through the doors, the airport doors, and each and every single one of them has a different destination. Some of them might be going off to a honeymoon or some passengers might be going off to a business trip or a family of four will probably coming through the airport to go on a leisure on, on, a, on a leisure holiday. So it's very important that as a check-in agent as a check-in agent you make their experience through the airport nice and smooth. Also, I want to help those who are trying to get through their day by giving them access to information and a friendly smile. For a checking agent, it's very, very important that you present yourself in a friendly manner. This is because it lets the passengers feel more welcomed because if you, if you, don't, if you seem to be a bit rude or anything, the passengers might feel a bit like their holiday, it might not be as good as they wanted it to be. John Menzies PLC is a Scottish company listed on the London Stock Exchange. The company, the company was found back in 1833 and today John Menzies, John Menzies provides support service to the, to the first to the fast moving market operating 24-7 in 37 countries worldwide. At more than 200, at more than 200 airport locations across six, six, six continents, Menzies offer landside and airside services tailored to their customers. Furthermore, Menzies, Menzies call service includes ground handling, cargo, fueling, fueling executive services and offline services. My skills for the customer service checking agent apply for this post because one of the skills which I have is that I am able to I am able to speak Swahili and I am very fluent in that language because as you know most people that come into the airport don't necessarily speak English. English might be their second language so for me it will be an advantage for those that actually speak the language of Swahili and probably they don't even know English or know a little bit of English but because I know Swahili I'll be able to help them by giving them a lot of information because you never know this might be the first time into the country or even at the airport. So that's a very that's a very good skill which I have. Another skill which I have is time management. I'm really good at keeping my time managed because for, for a customer service checking agent it's very important that you manage your time properly because you never know. Um, th this is the reason because all the gates, all the airline gates have a have a certain amount of time before they close. So it's very important to be able to get as many passengers through into check-in before that time comes. And also another skill which I have is working under pressure. I know that working at the airport, millions and millions of passengers come through those doors and it's most, most come in happy, most come in sad and most come in angry or depressed. So it's good to make sure that they are you welcome you welcome them in a nice manner so they can they can ask you quite they feel that they, so that they can actually be open to you to be able to ask you questions and also you might get customers who are really angry and start shouting at you so it's very important that you talk to them in a calm way like it's important that you have empathy and sympathy towards them you understand what is going like you put yourself in their situation but also by making sure that you calm them down so by working um, so me working under pressure I'm really good at that because I've also had 
past experience for when I had when I was working in an airport before so all these skills which I have now I've already applied them with my with my past jobs in the airport but I feel like I can apply them even more while working for the customer service check-in agent job role because all these speaking different languages um, time management and working under pressure they all come under the role of customer service and checking agent when I work in a team I always try to get involved as much as possible I like my opinion to be listened to and to be put into um, to be put into consideration because when you're in a team it's very important that everyone is involved and no one is left out another thing is that when I work with other people in the group I always try to get everybody involved I don't like to leave anybody out because they might feel left out and if you f if, if, if you think about it it's, it's not it's not a really it's not a nice thing to do so by making sure that everyone is involved in the activity then it's really important for example um, back when I back when I used to work for PRM in Heathrow Airport we basically had to prm is basically the passenger service with reduced mobility um we had to work as part of a team and able to get passengers through to check-in all the way up to their gate sometimes we even had to get passengers into the the aircraft so as part of my job role it was to basically work as a team with my other colleagues or workers we had to work as a team to be able to get all passengers through through to check in all the way to the gate on time with no one late or being left behind with the airport and um, be left behind for, for, by the airline and um, the way we did this was by making sure that we all communicated because as you know communication is very very important in any type of group activities or any type of team play activities I mean without communication then some things will be left unsaid and undone this job role should be offered to me because like I said all the skills which I have mentioned from my previous questions which I have been asked I've actually put them into like I've actually put them I've, I've actually worked on them and actually put them into place for example time management and working under pressure all of those skills I've actually have done before and speaking a different language that's also another benefit because as you know millions and millions of passengers come through the airport every single day and most of them either don't speak English or don't know how to speak it like the English is not the first language it's not their mother tongue so if, if you get a passenger who speaks the language of Swahili and they can't speak English then it's it's a benefit I can benefit them because they'll be they'll, first of all the passenger will be happy to ask me questions and obviously I'll be happily to be able to I'll be happy to be able to respond back to them and give them all the information they need because most passengers all they want to do is to be able to board the flight safely before their gates close no one wants to be late for their flight also another thing is that like I said from my previous questions I have worked in an airport before and I know how airports can be like it's very loud a lot of passengers coming through and it's very important to be able to manage all of that and keep everyone under control because if you if if, if you don't um if you don't keep everyone under control and you don't know what you're doing then it also like it also it also makes the passengers a bit like they might seem a bit confused or they don't know where they're going or they might be even scared because they don't because if they see me for example as a check-in agent if i don't know what information to give them they probably wouldn't know what they're supposed to be doing so for, for so i feel like i'm really good for this job role because 
I've worked in an airport before, I know how an airport runs and I've worked with so many different people from so many different backgrounds and <clears throat> yeah, I know how to handle things when they're under pressure, I know how to handle difficult passengers, I can normally ease them down. So yeah, I feel like this job role is really good for me as I've have a lot of experience I've had a lot of experience from different job roles not for check-in but different job roles which I can also apply into the customer service check-in agent